need to buy landscapes, malls and high rises. But there is another side. Miles and miles and miles of desert. Home to dozens of species of wildlife. It's a completely different side to what most people expect of Dubai. But for me, this is my Dubai. It's an Arabian gazelle up ahead of us. My name is Greg Simpkins. I'm the conservation manager at the Dubai Desert Conservation Reserve. The DDCR was set up to develop Dubai's natural flora and fauna, including the iconic Arabian oryx, which used to be extinct in the wild. We started with an initial reintroduction of 70 animals. Um, we've done one subsequent uh, reintroduction of another 30, so in total 100 animals. Uh, currently, as, as we sit here and speak now, we have over 600 Arabian oryx now on the reserve. So we've been very successful in that uh, initial phase of our project. The reserve is also involved in scientific research. We have a team of uh, biologists out here that conduct research in specific specialities. We also partner with local and international universities. It was set up with funding to the tune of $21 million from Emirates Airline and the Dubai government. Today, around 5% of Dubai's landmass is dedicated to the project. The number of visitors is rising. The reserve as a whole is extremely popular. You know, for a protected area, we get over 300,000 visitors a year. These come in uh, with both the Al Mahar Desert Resort, which is a sort of premium product within the reserve, but we also have a large number of uh, visitors coming in with uh, select tour operators. Al Maha is the only hotel on the reserve. Most of our guests really enjoy the privacy, the tranquility, they love the desert-based activities. The desert does not appeal to everyone, so it's certainly a very niche market, very high-end clientele. Many of these guests also have an interest in nature conservation. Dubai has also developed several other reserves, in total taking up at least 15% of Dubai's land area. With the Emirate looking to welcome 20 million visitors in 2020, the preservation of Dubai's wild side isn't just good for business, but good for the planet too.